hi so in this third part we will see how we can run the actual the unit test so here in my window the file um, called ut text configuration is open as you can see it has by default the port 80 and then this is the address of the local the arc i'm running in my computer you can see there on the right side bottom of my screen so the simulation uh, is active we can transfer this current project to the soft plc that is the arsim i already started the transfer first it will compile and then transfer the file to arsim So let's check. Okay, it has already set up its so I will transfer. Yes. So now, as we can see, let's uh, clear configuration. Yeah. Okay. Then let's bring them here and run tests. So both tests passed. There was something in the configuration which actually says that uh, start test after transfer. You can actually turn this false. Uh, you don't need this that's why the test failed and something to mention when you open this one you did configuration we need to update this one there will be something else in the default file there will be uh, name of the old uh, from the from the template project some other uh, it is calling some other test projects so you need to insert a, as many as test projects here for example here we have unit test sample we have these two tests you may have put this if you have more you have put them there and then press the update or run this batch file update test Let's open this one update test programs and then check this one several, several other things for example project change runtime versions please check that the gcc version is v6.3 here you have this uh, the proper uh, url to the unit test library and also project settings i see the sky c compliance of this one is the first one and as we see again the unit test is running as we can see a close window close all uh yeah i know all right so here is the configuration this unit test configuration is running i will click this open i will actually do the transfer once again because i changed the unit test configuration xml file i don't want to run the unit test immediately after transfer Okay, it didn't, def yeah, that's the thing we have to really detect the changes in the XML file, unfortunately. So you see it fails, but yeah, if you do a fresh, uh, do some changes in the program and do a fresh transfer, this won't happen anyways for the moment. What you can do is do the clear configuration. Then we have two tests here, which is the, the first one is the test of function. Second one is the test of function block. Let's bring them here, run test two tests past two total test past one so if you want to run you do more tests you can go this one and insert more function here test more state machines and conditions and do a complete test of this function block so that's how the unit test works so hopefully this um, example video was it will help it will be helpful for you to create a fresh unit test configuration uh, from scratch and removing all the unnecessary things from the template uh, project. Thanks for watching.